This is the best defense to use in Madden 24 right now. It shuts down the pass. Nope. It's instant sacks a week ago. Woo. and interceptions all game. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, Thank you. stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my Chicago Bears offensive and Las Vegas Raiders defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help or more money plays, you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. In today's video, I also went back to using my birds as they are still my favorite team despite their embarrassing finish. No! Suck. Understatement. And I want to get familiar with them again as they will be the team that I'm going to be using in my new CFM that I created with subscribers that I talked about in yesterday's video. I'll leave a link to that video in the description, but judging by how many people watched it, no one cares. And we'll be playing against the Raiders in Las Vegas, which is probably the closest this team deserves to be anywhere near the Super Bowl. But before I get into that, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comments section as it really helps out the channel and I appreciate the support. The defense that I'll be using again today is my nickel 3-3 odd scheme, but I'm going to show you guys a new play that I think might be the best defense in the entire formation. But first, I'm going to go over the setup. For my substitutions, I will want to put my best coverage linebacker at this defensive end spot here. Think fast with high coverage stats. For the Eagles, I just used Nolan Smith, who is just fast. I want speed everywhere, so I put Van Sumeren at my starting linebacker spot since he's over 90 speed, and I put my best backup safety at the other linebacker spot for better coverage. If he gets tired, I can just replace him with another backup safety and rotate him throughout the game. For my coaching adjustments, the most important change is to take auto flip off so that I can flip my play before I select it. I will also be leaving the auto alignment to default for this defense as it's more valuable to me to have them align properly pre-snap than to hide my coverage. Which lets you know exactly how good this defense is as I don't really care if you know what defense I'm in because I know you still can't beat it. After setting all this up though, I don't really have time for audible plays so I just select the cover for a drop as this used to be my favorite base defense to use and I will most mostly use this for the entire first drive. Bring that ass here, boy. I still believe in this defense as I almost get a sack on the very first play. I just find that the new defense I'm going to show you guys today is much better. The five plays that I use most in the scheme now are the cover for drop that I just showed, the pinch zero for blitzing, and two new man cover one defenses that I touched on in a previous video in both the Sam Mike one and the cover one Robert Press. The Sam Mike one being a better pass defense with the Robert Press one being a better run defense. I already made a full breakdown of all the offense and defenses I'll be using in today's video so if you guys want to see more from them I will have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video so stick around for that. My fifth and active play will change as I start the game by using the cover two man a lot as well as cover four so I will always switch up my audible play so that I have access to all five of these plays at any time. I switch back to cover four in the next play and he gets 22 yards right over the middle in front of the safety. So I switch to man cover two in the play after that as I think that man coverage is probably the best way to play defense right now but the tight end still gets open as he makes a good read before he just drops it. I stay in cover two in the next play again and Tay Adams just poops all over it before he switches to the row in the next few plays, first with his running back and then with his quarterback. As these two defenses both only have three rushers and I don't always get a lot of pressure. I pinch the defensive line to try to stop this on the next play, but he runs with the quarterback again on the next four plays to slowly work his way down into the red zone before eventually punching it in on the ground with another quarterback run. Damn it! as he made short work of both of these defenses on the first drive. So I will have to switch it up on the next drive. And that next drive is going to happen right now as I get a huge kick return touchdown through a small crack in his kick coverage. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through, special needs. As this is my second kick return touchdown in my last two gameplay videos. Just Back on defense, I make some coaching adjustment changes by switching over to base so that I can hide my coverages as I now want to send more blitzes since he was so comfortable in the pocket on the last drive, absolutely killing me with the quarterback's legs. But even with my coverage hidden pre-snap, he still dissects it with a zig, so I switch back to cover four and he almost runs for it again as we get a sack for only a one-yard loss. 
I go back to the zero blitz on the next play, but he beats again for the first before I get another one yard sack on the very next play, and then he beats my cover four right over the middle once again. So now that he has shown the ability to consistently beat all three of my former favorite defenses from the scheme, I decided to switch over to the defense that today's video is about in the cover one Robert Press and the Sam Mike one. I mess up the setup on the first play though, as you always want to flip this play pre-snap so that this linebacker here is facing the open side of the field so as you can put him on a hard flat to take away things like zig routes and other short routes that he once again dials up for another big play. I also forget to change my auto alignment back to default so that the cornerbacks will always be pressing or right in front of the receivers which will put them in a better position for coverage. So this time when I choose the play I make sure that the outside linebacker is facing the open side of the field and since he's only run one time the entire game I switch to the Sam Mike one as this is the better pass defense between the two since they are playing off coverage and not in press as press can often get beat and leave in a bad situation. But the concept is basically the same as the most important part is to put the outside linebacker on the open side of the field onto a hard flat to take away those short routes and to force deep passes as crossing routes will now be the only viable option to beat this defense over the middle. My user is the blitzing middle linebacker and my job is to take those crossing routes away gotcha, bitch. as we get an interception on the very first time using this defense. On offense I'm going to be using my favorite scheme and the reason that I started using the Bears playbook in the first place in the gun normal while off close. Full breakdown in the description once again. I see the ease in cover one man also on the first play but not all cover ones are created equal so I decided to try to take a shot with the mesh spot play as the running back should get open deep like most wheel routes do but he doesn't catch it but I still think it was there to be had so I try to get on the next play and he actually hangs on to it this time I can't tell what defense he is in on the next play as it looks like he's hiding his coverages now so I run the play again expecting to hit one of the drag routes but since I know they're always open I usually start the play by watching the running back because he gets open immediately under any zone only to see him get instant separation as it looks like he's in man cover once again Break yourself, fool. That's my fight, punk. Yeah, <laughs> And I'm guessing I won't be seeing that cover one anymore. Since he was mostly passing and I got an interception on the last play, I stayed in the Sam Mike defense. And he tries to moss me or burn me with Tay Adams. How about no? Before all the crosses are shut down the next play. And he tries to force it to that same tight end that was killing me on the first drive. Got he. As we get an easy pick six. But look at the difference this defense has made on this game. From the first two drives when I couldn't get a stop. And now I have two interceptions and a touchdown with no completions on the next three plays. He tries another deep pass over the middle to Adams, but even he can't hold on in this crowd. Hang. And he's now 0 for 4. Before trying again on the next play to Adams, nope. to go 0 for 5. On third and long though, I switched to cover to man, as this is more like a prevent to prevent big plays. And he goes right back to picking up big plays as he hits Adams over the middle for another big play. Lesson learned. Back to cover one and another incomplete pass. I can't help but notice he is favoring Adams a lot, so I start paying extra attention to him with my user coverage. Oh, you almost had it. And I go back to cover two since there's only 10 seconds left before half, as I want to prevent any big plays at this point, only to give up a big play and a field goal opportunity. But it's not an easy one, so we escape the half with our lead intact. <laughs> I start second half on offense looking to put the game away while also chewing some clock by running the ball before it gets me to a quick fourth and three from midfield. So I plan to go for it with the double drags before I see a clear running lane and switch to the inside zone for a big first down run. Before I recover two in the next play and switch to the Y sale as this is the play that made me change playbooks in the first place as all you have to do is motion across his B receiver and put the two other two receivers on phase to pull back the safety. Break yourself fool! Now up a lot and knowing he is going to pass, I go back to my prevent man cover two and my opponent starts making completions again as he has the most successful drive he's had since the first drive, going right down the field on me and getting into scoring range as this press that comes with the cover two man is the issue since they can lose that at the line of scrimmage and give up space. But it still has two deep safeties to stop deep passes so I stick with it. And we get an interception on the goal line ending the game. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see the full scheme and breakdowns of the offense or defense I was using in today's video, I have them popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.